These are my good friends, Dominic and Dana. And together, we're gonna ride bikes around Western Cuba. We got up early to get the sunrise shot, but it's covered by all the clouds and that is worrying us because we're like, uh-oh, it might rain all day. We don't know because our cell phones don't work and we can't check the weather. I guess we could ask a local Cuban who watches TV, but it's interesting not having access to our cell phones. It's not often that you have completely zero reach to the outside world keeps you from looking at your phone all the time. Buenos dias! Buenos dias, Ryan! Cheers. Cheers! Cheers! A lot of times when you stay at these casas particulares, they make you breakfast! And we're gonna get a nice home-cooked meal right now, usually fruit, a couple eggs, and bread. Buen provecho! Thought that I was just gonna write basic notes, but as soon as you start writing, as soon as I start writing, I remember the ama amazing lawnmower, the uh, lazy soldiers doing target practice, the wrong turn we made up the hill, and then it just becomes a small book. The sun has come out, the city is coming alive, and we are riding that way. It's a bit of a blustery morning, but the temperature is perfect, it's nice and cool. Not a bit hot at all, that sun is being blocked by the clouds. We have the whole road to ourselves, maybe just a few buggies here and there, but other than that, it is paradise. Buenos dias! I love these quiet Cuban roads. So peaceful and even when a car does come by, they're really respectful, they go way around you, they don't go fast. But mostly what we're seeing on the roads is like horse-drawn buggies. Not a whole lot of cars, a few big trucks carrying kids to school. My favorite part is just listening to the wind blow through the palm reeds. It's so pretty. Here's an old car right now. It really feels like I'm riding my bike through a movie set <laughs> in every way. I'm like, oh, there's an old 55 Chevy. Oh, there's an old Pontiac. And it just, it's so surreal because I've just, I just don't see this type of stuff in my regular life. Nobody does. Only in Cuba will you see these types of cars on the roads at all times. I really, really feel like I'm riding through a movie set, which makes this adventure seem a lot more dreamy. Tortilla, which is bread and egg. Cheesy egg bread's my favorite new thing. Eat me. What I'm really enjoying about this bike tour is the relaxed pace. We get to stop, chill out, visit the little villages, eat some pan con tortilla. It's all good. We 
saw some kids with these things and we're like, we want some of those things. So we went to this house right here and uh, the lady brought out some paletas. I don't quite know the flavor, but they're really, really good. And the stick it's on is just a real stick. I love it. They don't use any plastic here. How is it, Dana? This is the best popsicle I've ever had in my entire life. Not the best I've ever had. I'm not quite as charitable as that, but pretty damn solid. Hola amigos. Did you know that pizza was actually invented in Cuba? It was, guys. Really? Pizza's Cuban. Wow. Just kidding. But they cer certainly sell a lot of it here, and we love it. It's essentially just bread and a little bit of cheese. Not even a lot of cheese. This is not a cheesy pizza with barely any topping. Sometimes onions, sometimes ham. But after a long day of biking, we have not found a room yet in this town called La Palma, but we have found pizza and then we rode past this place that has ice cream and popsicles because those, my friends, are the priorities. One is never enough. We got another one. This room is by far the best room we've had so far. Nice and open and airy. Dana, Ryan, Dom. Looks nice, clean. We might even have hot water. Kitchen, refrigerator, and for later, some chess. My favorite part right here, we have our own balcony with our own little puppy. Hi there, cutie, hi there. Oh, you're a cute doggy, aren't you? Hi. I like this spot, this is great. The last two nights have been a little, a little tough. Last night smelled, smelled like furniture polish and was just kind of, just kind of drab. This one, open air, that's all I want. There's Dana doing some laundry. Yeah, I am. Sink laundry is one of my favorite things to do on a bike tour. It's kind of like my little after ride ritual. And when you don't have a lot of stuff, you have to wash it almost every single night. And that's what we're doing. Oh, well, there he is. It's soaking. Is that your, is that your laundry? It's my soapy laundry. Oh, look at that, nice. I loved the little kids, like I loved the people, but it was cool, like giving the little kids uh, stickers and it was oh, awesome. I thought of at least maybe a second best part of the day, when Dana sniffed out the, the popsicle house. Oh my God, that was so great. I, I forgot that happened today. Yeah, I saw these school kids walking with those amazing popsicles and I don't know a whole lot of Spanish but I knew enough to point to that and say donde I'm seeing this guy cutting hair on the street and you know what I you know I don't really need a haircut but I like getting haircuts when I go to foreign countries it's always an experience so I'm gonna get a haircut so I sat down and started to tell him what I wanted to do and he's like oh don't worry I know what you want so he's just kind of doing what he's gonna do I'm wondering what it looks like though, because Dana's face looks a little worried. Dana! Hello! I shorter. I don't really do haircuts for the look of it. I don't really care about style. I just like the experience. And that's what is what is happening right now. This is an experience getting a haircut on the streets of Cuba. It's a little scary to have a straight edge razor on my head. I've never had somebody take so much care into cutting my hair. He has cut everything, even my eyebrows. He, cut, he even cut my ear hair. I didn't know I had ear hair, and he stuck the scissors in my ear and yeah, cut whatever was in there. Gracias, amigo. Eso, mira, eso. Gracias, hombre. Wow, I look different. <laughs> <laughs> y 
did your eyebrows. You got my eyebrows. So we're gonna have to sunscreen you up. Lots more sunscreen now, but hey, it was a good experience. I got yeah. a new friend in Cuba. He's the yeah. man. Gracias, amigo. Muy amable. I just looked at my hair for the first time. Whoa, boy. I look like I fit right in the 50s. I look like what my dad looked like. Also, that was the cheapest haircut of my life. It was 10 Cuban pesos. It's about 25 to the dollar. So, less than 50 cents for that haircut. And he seriously took his time on it. He said it was an honor for him to cut my hair. He said, as he was talking to me in super fast Cuban Spanish, he's like, we're all big one, big family. American, Cuban, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're all part of the same family. I love it. I love it.